So I got a clear pan here and I'm gonna spread it down with some butter. So I put some carrots on the bottom of the pan. Also gonna put some chopped onions on the bottom of the pan. And this is what my Cornish hens is gonna sit on top of and cook on. I'm gonna add some red and some white onion to the bottom of the pan. Okay, so I just added some um, fresh rosemary, some sage, some thyme, and um, what do you call them? Marjoram uh, leaves. I added that to the bottom also, and I saved some for the top of the Cornish hens. So I'm going to take some whipped butter, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, salt, a little bit of pepper, um, just a little bit of olive oil. And also to that whipped butter, I'm going to add some white truffle oil. Um, I saw this one day, I was in one of the richer areas of Atlanta and they had white truffle oil. And I'm like, they had white truffle oil and they had black truffle oil and they had transatlantic duck fat. And I'm like, oh my God, like how do you use this stuff? So I'm going to try and use this in the whipped butter that I'm going to use to rub my Cornish hands down in and see how that turns out. And I got this from Fresh Market here in Atlanta. So we're going to try, um, <laughs> we're experimenting here. I'm going to hope it comes out right. I tasted it and it don't taste all that good. But mixed with the butter and everything else I'm going to put in the butter, hopefully it tastes all right. We'll see. Okay, so I've added white truffle oil, salt, pepper, sea salt, pepper, olive oil, and lemon juice to the butter. I'm going to stir it up. So I got all my little ladies right here, my little Cornish hen ladies, and we're going to, um, I'm going to raise up the skin on them. I'm going to separate the skin from the meat, and I'm going to put the butter inside, under the meat, and also on top of the meat to give it a nice little, after I dry the top, I'm going to dry the top and then put the butter on top. Um, just to get a nice brown color on it. If it's dry, it'll hold the oils and the butter better and it'll brown better. So I'm going to lift up the meat on these babies and stuff that butter under there and rub them down real good. Massage them up real good. Treat these ladies nice. And then um, we're going to put them in the oven. Uh, after we put some more of the uh, herbs on top of them. And then we're going to put them in the oven. All right, so this is the last goodbye to these Cornish hands. I kind of ripped the skin up trying to get the butter under the skin. I was being real rough, but they're all holding each other. Their little wings are holding each other the last goodbye before I cook them and eat them. I'm about to um, cover them with some aluminum foil after I add these on top. I'm about to cover them with some aluminum foil and bake them for about 30, 45 minutes, I guess. I don't know, I'll keep checking on them and see. And then, um, and then I'm going to take the top off and let it brown for about 15, 20 more minutes. And then we'll be done with Din Din. Okay, I'm tripping. I forgot to stuff my Cornish hands with my seafood stuffing. So I'm about to stuff my Cornish hands with the seafood stuffing. And then put it back in the oven. Woo, I almost forgot ya. Hey, slave over the stove making that stuffing for nothing. Y'all ladies ready to get stuffed? We about to get stuffed. All right, so now my ladies are ready to go in the oven. I got them all stuffed and stuff with their stuffing, and now I can cover them back up and put them in the oven. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. Beautiful. Beautiful. These girls are hot. Ha ha! All right, so my Cornishians just came out and they're done. Uh, to play everything movie seasons off the Cornish hands and we'll be back all right so dinner is done um the Cornish hands with the carrots and onions on the side the seafood stuffing candy yams the green beans oops the green beans the lighting in here sucks and then you want to do something sexy on the side for your man. It's all about presentation. 
I'm gonna do something sexy on the side. So I put um, a couple of little juices and drinks in here in a little shaker. Um, and I got this from when I used to bartend. And all you do is when your man sits down at the table, very sexy, very, you know, presentation, lovely. And voila, a very sexy dinner.